Hello everyone and welcome to Sanctum TV. Today we're talking about Kingdom Hearts 3. So, as a lot of you know, there's a lot of excitement going on uh, in the Kingdom Hearts universe at the moment. Uh, a lot of expectations for trailers and new releases. So, today I want to talk about Big Hero 6. We know that Big Hero 6 is going to be a world in Kingdom Hearts 3, and like most worlds in Kingdom Hearts, Hearts 3, you have lots and lots of zones that you can you visit and um, uh, within the world. So you've got Pride Rock and the desert and um, the jungle for the Lion King world, um, and for Halloween Town you've got the city square, you've got out in the woods, um, and so on, and the graveyard. So I was thinking of doing a world tour for Big Hero 6. So these are some of the places that I think we'll um, likely be able to walk around in as Sora um, in the Kingdom Hearts game. So first of all, I can see when I was watching the film, this shot I really thought was um, a possibility for someone we can go with Kingdom Hearts. So um, along the bridge, the bottom, where there's a transition to a different zone, um, the um, but mainly the main focal point in this was the labs, the um, uh, the nerd lab as it's referred to in the film. So being able to go in there and explore, um, I think that would be def definitely somewhere um, that Sora would be able to go. Um, and also the uh, the grassy areas around around that lab, I could definitely see some heartless or nobodies popping up there um, as a challenge along the way, because that's qu quite often what happens in the Kingdom Hearts game. In order to get you have to get to the destination, and along the way, um, you're left in big open spaces where heartless and nobodies attack. So I think that was a very good possibility. So I also thought um, you'd be able to visit the rubble since it's also very nearby to. Um, to where the bridge is, is off to the left I think. Um, the rubble of the showcase um, exhibition, so uh, where all the students had their students showcase, I think this would be quite an interesting place to be able to visit and again quite with the with it being rubble there'd be open space for the Heartless and Nobodies um, for you to fight as Sora. So I also then thought about um, the cafe where um, Hero lives I think this whole street, maybe you could walk around it. I I don't know why, but I don't really think that we'll be going into Hero's room. I think I feel like that's unlikely. Um, it's quite a confined space, which Sora doesn't really go into too many uh, little rooms that often. So I don't know, it's still a possibility, but I think definitely the streets are, um, are, uh, are a strong option for um, where Sora could roam around in. Because uh, a lot of the films in the streets, when it's in bot fights and when it's um, uh, just in the city in general. Um, but yeah, like I said, I don't think his room's going to be um, a big possibility. But if so, there's you know there could be a save point in the room somewhere. Um, I think if the room was going to be used, it would definitely be um, uh, somewhere where there'd be no heartless and nobody's. It'd be a safe house, as it were. Um, the docks. So they visit the docks. Um, at one point, I definitely think this could be an option. There's a lot more um, jumping around as Sora now. I can definitely imagine them jumping over the crate boxes um, at the top there, and Heartless um, gathered around everywhere. I think that the, the docks are um, very well done in the films, and I think that would be a very easy place for them to use in Kingdom Hearts 3. Uh, the sky as well. The picture I showed you at the very beginning. Um, of uh, Baymax, uh, the two Baymaxes in the sky, uh, with Sora, Sora on Baymax's back. Um, I think that's a very big possibility um, of being able to get around the sky, um, maybe jump from high air balloons and such. So I think the sky being somewhere you can explore um, with Sora and Baymax, I think that's quite quite a strong possibility. I mean, they did it with. Um, in Peter Pan, you're able to fly around, so it's definitely not without, uh, not out of Disney Square and its reach. So that was my small video for today. Nothing is set in stone, obviously, because unlike um, tra tradition, you could say for Kingdom Hearts worlds, um, the Kingdom Hearts Big Hero Six story is following on from the film. So 
it's unknown territory we're going into. There could be brand new places which we haven't seen before, the Big Hero 6 being released to us. So that would be really interesting to see. Um, if you think that um, you've seen other places in the film that you think might come up, then please put them in the comments in the description below and um, have a discussion about that. Anyway, thanks for tuning in and hopefully you'll tune in again soon. Yeah.